you doing here? I'm looking for you. I went to your house and I met this woman who told me where to look. Why are you following me around? I just want to talk to you. Look, Marty, I guess I know now why you've been backing away from me. I heard the whole story about what happened. So I'm sorry. If I'd have known about the rape, I would have never put you in that defensive position. Okay? How dare you? What? How dare you go digging into my personal life and then come here and act like you're oh so sympathetic. Marty, Look, I, I don't not... need your sympathy. So why don't you just get up and get out? Fine, you're not leaving, I will. Marty, wait. Why? Is there something else you want to know about me? Some other dirt you want to dig up? I did not go digging up about your past in the first place. Like, you may not believe that, but it's the truth. Look, I've got to get back to work. Would you just give me one minute? No, there's nothing okay. to talk about. Maybe not about you, but there's something I want to tell you about me. Look, you're getting the wrong picture of me, Marty. I mean, once you hear me out, I think that you're going to... I judge me. people by what they do, not by what they say. You went digging into my personal life, so therefore what you say is not going to change that. You know what I find weird, though? I, I consider Loon to be one of the most decent people I know. I can't believe she'd actually go in and tell you things about me. My sister did not say a word. Then how do you know? Because I went looking for you, okay? I got the phone book, and I found out your address. When I went there, I found out that it's, you don't live there anymore. There was a lady there. It's Dora. Dorian. Whatever her name is. On the mention of you, she started spilling the whole story to me. I didn't uh, ask her a thing. Believe me. I do believe you. Dorian would jump at the chance to make me look bad. Why? Because... Because of some family matters that are absolutely no concern to yours. Look, you can't even stop yourself, can you? From what? From prying into my life. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Why don't you get out of that armor suit you've got on there for a second and just listen to what I've got to say? I am you. listening. Thank you. Look, I know that there are some guys who think that after a woman's been raped, she's... I don't know how to say this, that she's damaged goods or that she's, you know, brought it on herself or something like that. I'm not like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for telling me this because, see, I have been losing sleep worrying that you'd blame me for the rape. Thanks for being such a decent guy because I whoo, feel so much better now. Wait. Your minute is up. <sighs> Go on. Be sarcastic. I mean, it just proves my point. What point? That I'm right. That you were worried about what I'd think if I found out. That's ridiculous. Well, then how come when I was Mr. Anonymous, everything was just fine and dandy? But now that you found that I'm Luna's brother... Now you're imagining things. Am I? When you found out who I was, you closed right up. Maybe you're just not as irresistible as you think. Or... Maybe you thought that when I found out what happened, that it would turn me off. So you turned me off first. Right? I don't need this, Dylan. I really don't. You don't need what? Your arrogance. You assume I care what you think about me. You assume I'm going to jump for joy because you don't blame me for being raped. Fine, I get your point. No, I was just getting started. You know, all I wanted to do just let you know that your past didn't, it didn't matter to me. You know, you have every right in the world to be angry for what happened to you. But maybe it's time you start letting go of it a little, huh? Or maybe just stop taking it out on the wrong people.